It's the end of the month, and that can only mean one thing. It is time for our monthly look at the most downloaded car for this month in GTA 5. This is actually for the month of September 2020, and the car that I'm driving right now is actually the second most downloaded car. And can I just say, this is probably one of the worst handling cars I have ever downloaded for this game. It's this thing right here. This is the 2020 Ferrari SF90 Stradale. I've never actually seen this car before. Oh dear, that is actually rather destroyed. Let's fix that. And I have never... Oh, oh well, instantly destroyed again. <laughs> this is the worst handling car I have ever downloaded. It's just... I don't know if you can really get this on film. But it just sort of floats. I guess they tried to make it like drifty or something. Also, this thing just crumples up into a tin can if you just so much as blow on it. But the second I start moving, it just wheel spins and it just drifts off to the side. You don't even really have to turn in this thing. And you just end up just driving in circles and running people over. This is an absolutely terrible car. So the fact this is the second most downloaded car, I've got to be honest. I don't really think that the most downloaded car is some sort of sign of excellence or anything like that. It just happens to be that, I don't know, people are excited about this and wanted to see this car in GTA 5. So let's actually have a closer look at the car itself and get over this absolutely dreadful handling. You wouldn't want to be driving this, just mostly looking at it. So here it is, and I guess as it is a Ferrari, we should probably set this to red straight away. Okay, now this looks a little bit more fitting to what a Ferrari should look like. There we go. So there it is. The brand new Ferrari SF90. A Ferrari that I've never heard of. I've got to be honest with you guys, I don't really keep tabs on all the new supercars coming out. Because, again, I'll be honest, they don't really excite me that much that more. I might be excited to see one in real life, but I couldn't really care to know what the latest Ferrari model is. Let's just go ahead and open up this and have a look inside, see what we've got here. See what doors and stuff we can open. So we have the doors, these are regular doors. Do look pretty good. I don't know if this is taken from, I presume this is taken from a game and this isn't scratch built, uh, as with a lot of these cars. Then we have the hood that opens up on the front. Oh, we've got a really nice detailed front right here. We've got full carpeting going on. And then I guess on the rear, there we go. We have our engine bay right there with a lovely 3D modelled engine. I tell you what, the, these are definitely well designed. They're, they're very nicely modelled. Obviously, I, I guess this is probably from, I, I don't know, insert new modern racing car game here. <laughs> I don't know who actually models these things. Because most of the time, they're usually just sort of like taken and put into GTA 5. But we do have this nice... Very detailed interior. Got all like the speakers and stuff going around the side here. This is trying. Oh, this is trying to squeeze into the back here. There we go. So uh, yeah, this is definitely a two-seater. And then we have got this dashboard right here. I do like Ferrari dashboards, though. I will say that they're they're simplistic, but they're, they're, they they still look prestigious and sporty and very supercar-esque. So actually, I do like this interior. This is pretty nice. And it seems to be the trend now to not have that center console that comes down. A lot of cars now seem to go back here and have this long bit down the middle, which actually I, I don't particularly like. Uh, but you do see it on a lot of cars these days. But it does have a, an interesting gearbox there. I guess it is just a fully automatic car. Or semi-automatic, actually, because I guess that M is probably for the paddle shifters in manual mode. And then on the front, we have some nice details with the pull hatch here, or the pull latch even. And this, and even all the screws. And the carpet. I do like I do like some nice detail cars, anyway. And so as you guys probably noticed, there isn't actually any tuning parts for this one, because this is actually just taken from a game, and it doesn't come with tuning parts. And actually, the game it comes from, as I've just found out, is CSR2. A game I've never heard of. Apparently it's made by Zynga, so I guess it's a mobile racing game perhaps. But it does have a couple of liveries that have been added. So we do have this one. Rather interesting sort of like spiky camo sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure what the pattern is meant to be other than a bunch of lines and arrows. But we do have this sort of camo. And then we also have this sort of digital camo. Which is a nice interesting look. So we have the main colour. I don't know if... Let's see if the secondary colour is tied to this. It might not be. No. Okay, so the secondary colour is actually just tied to 
seemingly the calipers which will keep red of course because that adds some uh, brake horsepower so yeah this camo will definitely be main color and then white and gray which sort of goes in red but sort of doesn't not really a fan of that i'll be honest uh, but those are the two livery options that you can get but you guys know what i'm gonna do because with these cars you've got to modify them in some way and to be honest the two ways that i can make a car look very different is stancing it or turning it into an off-road version and you know what? i think we've We've been a bit too much in the off-road and we have got a video coming up where I'm going to do loads of different off-road builds. So I'm going to try and stance this one and see how we go here. So let's try and find some wheels to go with this. These all look so... Oh no. We can't have anything deep dish because of the brake calipers. That's the first issue. Which ends up meaning that we don't really get anything super stancy but we do get some nice wheels like this that can work on it not sure how this is going to suit the whole stancy look but we'll give it a try so let's just go for uh well let's just lower this down first of all and then we'll lower that on the front as well and then the front track width's pretty much there we'll get some front camber <laughs> But it is very close to glitching. In fact, it is actually in the spokes, as you can see there. That's not good. Okay, these wheels will do. These are actually pretty nice looking wheels. And um, by the way, this is still only the second most downloaded car. We'll check out the most downloaded car in just a second. Uh, these videos have pretty much turned into the second and first most downloaded in cases where the cars don't have tuning. Uh, is the honest answer to that one. So we'll get some rear camber. We'll chuck that. This doesn't really work. Obviously, it's a Ferrari. You don't really ever... Actually, to be honest, I have seen some show car style stance Ferraris. But the modern ones, that doesn't really work so much. But if you were curious, this is what one looks like slammed down with some camber. Hmm. Hmm. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about this one. Well, if we did have one of these on air ride, this is what it would look like, I guess. Although we do actually have some very buggy suspension because I have slammed this down quite a lot. The game is not liking it. Which I think is a sign that we should quickly, before we move on to the most downloaded car. Oh, I forgot how terrible this is to drive. Uh, <laughs> I think we should jack this up for just a second. I do want to see what it looks like as an off-road build. So actually not many wheels that we can choose from just because of these giant brake calipers getting in the way. So I guess ridge climbers all we can choose from really. That's our only choice. So we'll sort of set the camber back. We'll obviously jack up the suspension. Get that front height up. We're not going to make this too jacked. I just want to make this to some sort of like battle car thing. We'll get a little poke on the wheels. I always like to have a little poke on these. Then some worn matte-esque or satin-looking paint. Oh, actually, this looks kind of cool in this shade of sort of military green. Kind of military green. And then we'll crank the dirt level. I don't know if this has any dirt mapping. Oh, it does. Oh, it... Uh, oh, it, it, it does. But <laughs> it does end up with mouldy windows. I'm not sure if that's due to the paint colour. No, it's not. It's just green for some reason. Not brown, but green. You would have thought the dirt would have been brown. Anyway, there's a very green looking jacked up off-road thing. Oh my god, it just spins the second I move. The handling on this is terrible. Well, there is two builds. This thing just drives in circles because it has the worst handling I've ever seen on a downloaded car. So let's now get to something that should have some better handling. The most downloaded car of September 2020, it is... Did you guess it from the thumbnail? It is the Porsche 911 Turbo S. This is the 2021 model, would you believe? This kind of actually... I, I, I also will be honest, I don't really look at all the latest Porsches, but this rear end doesn't seem like it's changed much in the last few years. Neither has this front end. We've also got this rather interesting front camera setup as well. Is that a dual camera setup? Or like a camera and sensor setup? That's interesting. So let's just move away from this and have a closer look. We've actually got a very weird front splitter that dips down in the middle. Let's just move over here and have a look. I will say though, instantly, this one does have slightly better handling. It's not the most stuck to the ground handling I've ever felt, but it's, it's easily drivable. You don't just 
spin in circles like the other car did. Although, because I'm not looking at the screen, it does mean that I do crash still. But that's not the car's fault, that's me driving with a keyboard and not the controller. And so here is the most downloaded car, it is the Porsche 911. Of course, the Turbo S. Uh, let's actually just open up all of the doors and everything. So we have the front doors, we have the hood, which is actually the trunk. With a, a nice basic, but still detailed. We've still got some carpet in there. We've still got all of our frunk details. Got a nice plastic texture there. Sort of. Uh, it's a little blurry when you zoom in, but it looks quite good from, from this distance. And then we have the hood at the back. No. We don't. Is there no engine? There is no engine. Okay. No engine modelled for this. It is what it is, I guess. As I said, often the most unloaded car doesn't mean the most detailed or anything. It just happens to be the car that people want to see in the game more than anything. Usually a supercar. So we have our interior. Let's just zoom out so we can get a better look here. This does all look pretty nice, pretty good. I've always wondered about this bit on the Porsche dashboards. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about this. But that has always been... A key point that I've never really liked about the Porsche interiors is that sort of like flat long dashboard bit with this thing stuck in the middle. It just it's just never really looked right to me. Like if that was taken out, that instantly would just look way better to me. But I don't know, maybe you guys would disagree. Although it's got a nice high center console right there. Doesn't have any sort of uh, the dips going down. We've got a nice textured seats and everything, all the details. Seat belt, seat buckles, floor mats, switches, dials. Uh, got the, uh, oh, apparently he's listening to uh, some Porsche music. And they are in Stuttgart. And it's, of course, it's 911. And then we have our dials and a close up of the steering wheel right there. So now, just like the Ferrari, this doesn't have any tuning parts, but it does have a couple of actually quite similar liveries. So we have this digital camo right here. And then we have this other weird sort of patterned thing. And actually, I kind of like that for this one. It, it makes it look like some sort of gumball car. I guess, obviously, in the Ferrari. The Ferrari is too new to sort of get that feel. But we've seen many Porsches at this point that have got crazy wraps. And, you know, they've been driven gumballs and other sorts of road rallies. So I kind of like that. I do want to see how the colors look, though, if we mix the different colors. Ah, ooh. This does actually work by shades. Now that's better. That's better. I do want to see how the camo works. Oh no, the camo still works on white and grey. But this one, where it works on shades instead of just being white, it actually just works on shades of the colour that we're choosing. I like that. That is cool. And I think this might work quite nicely in a blue. Yeah, that, um, yeah, maybe let's just go for standard blue. Maybe let's just go for set RGB and make this more blue. I think we want to make that more blue. Maybe more green. Oh, yeah, something like all that. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad color. That's not a bad color at all. Yeah, okay, we're going to go for that. And uh, for the customs, let's just go for wheels. And it is just probably going to be the standard sort of sports wheels if I'm going to, if I have to change the wheels. I tell you what, though. Instantly, I was sort of doubting myself for a second. They say it's not going to work. And then I picked these wheels instantly, and they look fantastic. It is such a shame that we still have to deal with the brake calipers as well. That is such a shame because I think Porsches do suit a wide array of wheels. I think it's just the timeless design of it. We've seen it all before. And so this looks great to me. It's just a shame that I think we're going to end up having to pick something that's not deep dish again. Yeah, these wheels actually look quite nice as well. I think go for these in a black. There we go, and it's actually got the chrome on the uh, lips as well. Actually, I kind of like how that looked with uh, something lighter, so maybe just stone silver for that. Yeah, that's pretty solid. If we had to change anything and not make this too crazy or stanced, maybe just a little lower front and rear, that might make it a little unusable. But that's just a little lowering, and then like a tiny bit of camber, which is not to make it stanced, but like for performance reasons. So we'd add a bit more camber on the front like that. I feel like that suits the sort of small amount of drop that we've given it. And there we go. There is our blue sort of weird camo sort of like road rally version with some tuna wheels. Porsche 911 Turbo S.
And that's it for this video. I just wanted to check out these cars quickly, do a couple of small builds. It's very difficult to do builds when it really is just paint, wheels, drop. I mean, that can transform many cars, of course. Uh, but uh, obviously with a lot, sometimes we don't get lucky with these cars uh, for the most downloaded every month. However, the most downloaded law friendly car was actually a car that we checked out recently. And it is this awesome Volcura Hatchera R that came out recently, which has the really awesome electric that then turns to petrol engine. Let's hear it. There it goes. Absolutely love this thing. I've done a full video on this, which you can go and check out if you have not seen already. Uh, it was very recent on the channel. Just look out for the Hatchura R video. But if you have got all the way to the end of this video, you can say... Ooh. Uh, just TV. You can just say TV in the comment section below. Just to let me know that you watched the whole thing. But that's it. For the most downloaded cars of GTA 5 for September 2020. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.